Yeah. What you want to do for dinner? What you want to do for dinner? God dang it. What's up, everyone? This is your everyday consumer, Mikey G, and welcome to a black-owned world. And last year, I did a review of the Figures F3 smartphone, and if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link to it in the box below. But in that video, I said I would do a separate review on the mobile service from Figures Wireless. Well, I've been on their plan for a year now, and it's time for the review. But before we get started, I gotta tell you to like and subscribe to the channel to learn about more black-owned businesses that you can support. Now, let's get into it. We're gonna be reviewing this service on five different things. We're gonna talk about text messaging, calls, data, customer service, and of course, the price. First up is text messaging. Texting is one of the most reliable ways of communication, especially when you're in an area with a bad signal, or if you don't feel like talking to anyone. Now, most of the time, I had no problem sending messages, even when I was traveling out of town, but where I did have a problem was in receiving them. Usually, I would receive text messages in a reasonable amount of time, but sometimes, messages would show up 30 minutes to an hour late. I even had situations when a friend would text me they're on their way over to my place, and I wouldn't get it until they showed up at my door. Although this was annoying, most of the time, it worked properly, so I have to say that texting is okay. Now let's talk about calls. I have been able to make and receive calls using the service, but I would often have issues. I've also had plenty of times when people would text me that they just called and it went straight to voicemail, even though my phone was turned on and had a good signal. This would happen two or three times on a weekly basis, and it wasn't like I was out of town. I also had issues of calls disconnecting when I was in the middle of a conversation, which happened often. Too often. More often than I like. And when I traveled in the US, it was tough to get a strong signal. Ultimately, I could make calls, but it's not as reliable as I like. Next up is data. Data is important because it's how you're able to browse the internet, play games, or watch awesome reviews on YouTube without Wi-Fi. Figures Wireless can run on a 4G LTE or 5G network, and unless you get that limited plan, it'll slow down your data after you use 10 gigabytes. My phone uses the 4G LTE network, and I noticed that web pages will sometimes take 20 to 30 seconds to fully load up. Not only that, some of my apps wouldn't load properly, but streaming videos on YouTube and Netflix actually worked pretty well. Sometimes my connection ran more smoothly, so again, I have to say it's okay. Let's jump into customer service. Of course, with any wireless service, there are gonna be problems that come up or questions that need to be answered. Figures Wireless allows you to contact them using instant messenger on their webpage, emails, or you can call their 1-800 number. And I've used all of them to get assistance with my plan or with some of their products. Using their instant messenger worked great. They responded in a timely manner and they always have resolutions. Same thing goes if you contact them by email. After initially emailing them, they reply back to me within 24 hours but I was really impressed when I called them. I never had to wait longer than five minutes before someone picked up and they were always professional as well as personable. Hey, Mr. Kramer, this is Langston from Regal View. I didn't catch you at the wrong time, did I? The best part is that the support is located in the United States. So you don't have to worry about any language barriers while you're trying to get your issues resolved. So I'm very happy when it comes to customer service. Now let's talk about the price. Figures Wireless has five plans at different prices. They have the talk and text plan for $15, the economical plan is $60, the unlimited plan costs $85, the family plan for $160, and the globe charter plan is $165. And I'll post a link to their phone plan page in the box below. Most people sign up for the unlimited plan, so I'm just gonna focus on that. I compared the price for the unlimited plan to other big and small phone carriers and found that the Figures Unlimited plan is expensive. Although Figures may cost more, they only add $5 in taxes and fees, unlike some of the other carriers that will add an additional $10 to $20. Another advantage for the Figures Unlimited plan is that they don't throttle your data at all, unlike some of the other carriers that will slow it down simply because there's a lot of people using it. The only unlimited plan that was priced closely to Figures is Verizon, and I don't think Figures is nearly as reliable or has the same coverage as them. So I have to say that the price for the Figures Unlimited plan doesn't match the quality that you get. Now we've reached the end of the video, and I have to say that the Figures service is okay. Texting is somewhat reliable, but I also received messages late. Receiving and making calls was often inconsistent. The data works, but it's also a bit slow. The customer service is great and very responsive, but the price for the unlimited plan is a bit more than I'd like to pay. So I have to give this wireless service two and a half out of five bows. 
before we end this video, I do have a couple side notes that you may want to know. As I said before, Figures Wireless operates on the 4G LTE and 5G network. But keep in mind that 4G LTE is different from a 4G network and isn't as fast. So what are your thoughts about Figures Wireless? If you're already using it, leave a comment down below. And if you think I was being a bit harsh, let a brother know, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe to the channel to find out about more black owned businesses that you can support. So with all that said, have a good one. Hello? I didn't hang up on you.